the Ericaism of the day. Listen, I know there are people who kind of know you by way of social media. They kind of know you by way of other people, um, but they don't really know you. So they don't really trust you and they don't really believe what you say. Listen, let me tell you though, there was one who was around Jesus and still was a doubter. Y'all heard of Doubting Thomas? I'm sure you heard of Doubting Thomas. Thomas was one of the disciples. He was there with Jesus. You can read about him in the first four gospels. Uh, it talks about uh, the life of Jesus from four different perspectives. But let's talk about Thomas though. Thomas saw Jesus and he didn't believe that he was really, that he had really risen from the dead. He didn't believe it. He said, let me see the holes. Let me see your hands. Let me see. Jesus had to prove himself to Thomas. Don't be that kind of Christian. Don't be that kind of Christian that is so full of fear and so full of doubt. You only go to church to be skeptical. You only have faith to see if you can make sure other people aren't doing wrong. I'm saving you. I went to this and I went to that and you don't do this and I prayed this and I gave to it. But you don't really have the joy or the peace of the Lord and you don't even trust. You don't trust at all until you see it. Listen, that's the thing about faith. We can't see it. We have to believe it. So do you even have faith if you have to see it first? Seeing is believing should never be your moniker as a believer. But that was Thomas's. He didn't believe them when they said stuff. Every time the other disciples, he'd be like, eh, Thomas was always like, ah, I don't know about that, guys. I'm not so sure. Don't be that kind of Christian. Don't be fear-filled. Don't be pessimistic and cynical. Because, all, I mean, it's all fear, whether you call it cynicism or, you know, being pessimistic. And I'm not sure. And I got to check things twice. God should be able to tell you something once and you go, yes, Lord, I believe you. God should be able to drop something in your spirit about what he's going to do in your life. And you go, yes, Lord, you don't tell the father, the creator, the Lord of all, the one that you serve, the one that you trusted died on the cross. Are you sure? Because, you know, the economics in this in this season is a little different. God tells you that marriage is coming your way. Are you sure? Because men are crazy and women are crazy. And I don't know. Really? That kind of doubt to the king of kings and the Lord of lords. I want this Holy Spirit to be able to whisper anything in my ear. And I go, yes, Lord even if I've never seen it before. That's the thing about the miraculous things that God wants to do in our lives. Sometimes we've never seen it before and that's okay. Still trust, still believe, still speak faith, get in the book and allow the word of God to come alive in your life till you speak it and say it in the face of what the outside world looks like. Yes, I know it was hard for Thomas to believe. They were, still, he, they were waiting on Jesus to take over the government. That's what they meant. That's what they thought. The disciples thought Jesus is going to come and we're going to all be living in mansions and palaces and we're going to be good. They were like, why are we still struggling and pe feeding people fish and chips? Didn't we get with this guy because he was going to help us win? And that's what people think. Didn't I get with Jesus because he was going to help me? We're not suffering. What is this? I don't want to do this. He promised you certain things, but life is life. In this life, we will have tribulation is what the word says. So we got to shift our perspective and really trust God, not just know about God, but know God for real. Not just know the isms and schisms and the things that happen in church, but really know what we came here for. And that's to grow in faith. All right. That is my Ericaism for the day. I don't want to know about Jesus. I want to know the true and living God for real, for real. I want to know him without a shadow of a doubt. So when the enemy lies, I go, uh, uh that ain't my Jesus. My Jesus would not pray. He wouldn't say that. He would not pray like that. But it, when you don't know him, you believe anything. That is my Ericaism, y'all. I love you and I mean it.